Week five, you've made it through the first stage of training. Today, we start the speed training chapter of our series. We're looking at 10K coming in just three weeks. 10K is my favorite distance to race. It's this beautiful in-between of distance and speed. And now that you're in week five, you're also going to learn the next technique called see out. But before that, let David tell you what's in store for this week. Thanks, Christian. This week, you can expect to see additions to tempo, a new strength routine, and the longest run to date on day six. Today, we have a 40 minute run to start off the week nice and easy with a big day tomorrow. All right, let's get into see out. When you're practicing this technique, you have a more narrow focus range than you did during the see here feel technique because you limit your focus to only external visual experiences, which means anything that you can see with your eyes, whether your eyes are open or closed. If you can see it with your eyes, like the screen that you are looking at right now, or you can see things in the background that are around and behind the screen, but also external visual restful experiences, like when your eyes are open and you soften your gaze, or you close your eyes and see a grayscale that might be darker or lighter. It will be something you can pay attention to. Anything that you cannot see with your eyes, like thoughts, sounds, or anything that you can feel in the body, will be outside of the focus range. When something is outside of the focus range, it doesn't mean that you will not notice it. So let me be clear. It is totally fine and no problem whatsoever if you notice thoughts, if you notice something in the body, or if you notice you're hearing a sound. The difference is that you're not trying to notice those experiences that are outside of your focus range. In this case, things you can see externally. But when you do notice it anyway, you then you return your attention back to the focus range. And you will notice that your attention will be drawn outside of the focus range very often. We are literally talking about hundreds or thousands of times over the course of this week, and that is not a problem. Actually, it's great. Every time you notice that that happens, because every time you notice that you were paying attention to something outside of your focus range, and you then return your attention back to what you can see externally, you're strengthening your concentration. This technique has two labels. The labels are C, short for see out, and rest, short for external visual rest. So the way that you are going to practice this technique is by limiting your attention to external visual experiences, anything that you can see with your eyes, but what you can see with your eyes will either be active or restful. So when you direct your attention to something that you can see, you clearly acknowledge it, then you label it with either C if you have noticed activity, like if you're looking at an object, or you label it with rest if you have noticed a restful state with your eyes. As I said before, that would be either when you notice when your eyes are defocused or if your eyes are closed and you're looking at the darkness right in front or behind your eyelids. After you label it, you keep watching that what you just noticed and labeled for a couple of seconds before you repeat that process. 